So the show uh, I used to take up to Edinburgh in the 80s was um, called Duvet Covers Edinburgh because my company was called Geographical Duvet and we would pick people up from a bus on Waverley Bridge. We rented a double-decker bus, way cheaper than a theatre, and drove people around to places like Leith Docks, which was proper dockland in those days, and then out to like posh places like Fetis College. I mean, I just... I'd just run around all these places and said, can we come and do a bit here? And charmingly, everyone went, yeah, all right, art nutters. And it was because I'd lived in Edinburgh and I got used to people coming for fringe and just looking at the nice, poshy bit in the middle and going, oh, isn't it a beautiful city? And you go, really? Well, I think you should see Pilton. <laughs> this is a long time before train spotting, for example. And so that was it. And we'd all pile out the bus and then... We'd do a bit and then we'd pile back on the bus and drive off. We'd make about three stops every show, two-hour shows, which, again, you could do in those days. Uh, it was fantastic fun. It really was. And the bus was pretty much full pretty much every day, you know. We did unbelievably make profit. <laughs> Almost unheard of. Oh, But I do remember Leith Docks was my favourite place to perform because it was just so picturesque. And... Um, we had a couple of places that we were allowed to use. And one of them, I mean, just genuine working docks. One of them, a couple of days we went, an actual ship was there, which was just incredible, dancing in front of this enormous ship in the dock, though it did form a complete wind tunnel between the ship and the wall of the warehouse, so that, yes, when we were doing any singing or vocal stuff, we had to virtually come and yell in the audience's ears. But, oh, yes very good happy days much more conventional now darling just in the theater doing my hour and then clearing off 